So. Hi, I'm Christian. And I'm Vera. From LR Time. And in this episode, we're going to duplicate our full-size slide-out drawer and put it into Fabian's Land Rover Discovery 3. Hope you enjoy the video. Our drawer is a full-size slide-out in the size of the trunk of the Discovery 3. It's about one square meter and it's on heavy-duty rails. And in this episode, we want to show the entire construction from A to C. And in the first step, we want to compare his discovery with mine to make sure that all the dimensions are the same and that the seats and everything works the same. Because this used to be a seven seater and he took the seats out and we want to make sure the whole pattern and the dimensions and everything matches. So Fabian has the heavy duty rails, same kind we have from Amazon, 250 kg, but he's got the ones with the latches, okay? Because he's got the ones with the latches, we have to make sure the rail is far enough back to leave room here for the latch when we close this up. Other than that, this should be the same setup. 108, and this is 52. One, one, eight, eight. Yeah, so we got all the measurements here. And we need then to cut the rails, two of these, two of these, and then this is the base plate. And then we can drill holes for the rest of the day. Okay, the 920. Can we agree if this is wrong? It's your fault? No. Yeah, okay. Good. So, good spot check is always what is all right. That's the only wood cutting we need to do. This is this cut. And then we're gonna cut this off here and here. What do you want? Huh? I will try to get this straight because my cut wasn't the straightest in the world. Yeah.
Mama should Lunch is ready. Lunch is ready. So this is just approximately. Let's go have some lunch. All right. You're hungry? Mount the airline rails and then you can tighten down whatever yeah. you want, wherever you want yeah. it. Yeah, in the next life. <laughs> Figure out the position we gotta be closed first, like this. This is how we want the whole pan in. What do you want? Oh, that, that's nice. So, what we want to do is figure out where the first hole is. Here. This is where the first hole needs to be. Yeah, so this is accurate. Yeah, and from there. We're gonna do now all the holes. One, five holes. That's it. Yeah. This one. Okay. This should work. We gotta do both of those, and then this will sit on there. Like this. And this dimension should be 35. Yeah. Transfer the whole panel. I'm gonna get a lot of comments. Because I'm using a tap, I use a uh, 
brass hammer. If you would do this with a hardened hammer, this would chip. Okay, so I got a 120 grit and a speed adjustable angle grinder. So I just give it a slow RPM. These are polishing discs and I got 320, 360 and 1500. So we use the coarse one. Oh yeah, here, 320 green. We use the green one. It's 320 grit and reduced speed. So we'll give it a one step finer. I gonna use my camera. I'm not gonna use your camera, even if it's high end, because it's not high end. you never go to battle with an unproven weapon. It's not gonna look crooked on the camera. Like that. Like this. Here we're gonna have to get him. You see, that's Nicely why it doesn't even. matter if it's really... Yeah. You can paint it a little bit. Yeah, this looks beautiful. That was your fault. I'm sorry. No, it was your fault. Yeah. No, this I is just too big. found it. We're working with you on a project. The goal is not to get you hurt. <laughs> oh, no, I have it wrong. I need no, inside. no, this... Needs to go up here. This, this needs to go down there. Yeah, exactly. So, there you go. Let's see if the bolts are too long or if they will go in. An I think match. they are perfect. I don't know. Oh, no, no, I'm not. These are the, the nuts. In Germany, they are called... Hülsenmutter. Hülsenmutter. In the US, they are called... Nobody knows. And I think they call barrel nuts. Barrel, yeah. Barrel nuts. Yeah. Or you made a shelf. You forged the shelf. Oh, who's you got? Need to make it black. Who's got a forged shelf at home? <laughs> it's really nice. I don't think too many people have a forged shelf. Yeah. <laughs> See how beautiful they look? Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. See, I got this so it's a little bit recessed here. Yeah? I think that's good. This is perfect. Look at the corners. Perfect. Perfect.
You got more for me too? Why not? Oh, what a great idea. <laughs> that improved our efficiency by 100%. <laughs> Um, tie down points on here, yeah, yeah. so this is, I think, quite nice. And, and you can put your airline rail in here. You and could, yeah. Here. You mm -hmm. could. The rail's got to go on. What? So this one goes over there. So we're gonna use Loctite instead of lock nuts. Oh. You're not paying attention. They're not giving any instruction. It's gonna get a little dirty. That looks like the same. Just fasten this for for now. It needs to be in an angle like this, and this needs to be at 25. A little more. I got it at 26. Right here. There. Okay, very well. Now this hole, we're gonna have to drill, but this hole we should be able to get to. There it is. What? I don't have a nut. Uh -huh. It's there, right? It's there. Mm -hmm. And then uh, this and this. Very well. It's my third hand. <laughs> Now 
nice sheet metal button head screws. Make sure those chips are all gone. Yes. It's a very nice piece. I of want equipment. the same piece of plywood. You see, I have a really ugly. It's stupid and it's white and oh! Yeah, now it's, it's a plastic sheet. Yeah, but it's, it's absolutely watertight. It's yeah, I'm filming. You left your spot. This one would go in now, easily. The other one appears tight. It's already a good sign if the bolts go in. Now close it. Okay, now the bolts go in. And it fits. Ah, uh, something is wrong here. Yeah, something is here also wrong. I think this is uh, maybe four and this is only two and a half centimeters. Oh no, I don't know. Tight. Yeah, it's too tight. Way too tight. It. So it's back out again. Yeah. And I missed. And you missed. <laughs> But we didn't look at the slots. Uh, yeah, the, the cars. cars are standing side by side. And the next one, we're gonna make it five millimeter narrower. So hopefully, this is better. These are stainless steel ball washers. See how they pivot around? Just a tiny bit. Where's the other bolt now? There it is. Okay, try it now. Yeah, it's good enough. You don't want it too loose. So that's a uh, 80 kg of test Feels weight. Like... There you go. Oh! <laughs> we have some more slots for M10 bolts, but we don't have any at the moment. So there's more over here. Yeah. See if the rear side closes. We haven't tried this yet. <laughs> that would be now. Yeah, perfect. There's it's... one finger. Yeah, and, and it's about. I would say oh. three, four millimeter. Perfect. Three, four millimeter left. Yeah, and the you can see how the handles hide in the corner here. So we started at ten o'clock. Yeah, ten. What time is Eight, it now? Maybe. Eight. Half past seven. Yeah, and we didn't really screw around a lot, so it is it is quite a bit of work, and we had to take it three times in and out to correct the bolt pattern. So. No, 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 Stay up there. Yeah. Stay up. Stay here. <laughs> he doesn't really look relaxed. Yeah. <laughs> Come here. Come here. One more time. Oh. Yeah. So, 
This works. What, a hundred pound on it? <laughs> no more. <laughs> <laughs> you happy with it too? Yes, I'm happy. Okay. I want that board. Yeah, that's a nicer board than ours. Yeah. So we had to make a few adjustments to the drawer because it was still not working perfectly and now it's absolutely smooth. So it's got a latch position in the back, that's part of the rails. And so when you park downhill it doesn't slide in and then unlatch it. Moves back in really easy. And the problem was pretty much that the surface here in the Discovery is not 100% straight and we had to put some shims in in order to tighten the bolts so it wouldn't disturb the rails and we got this now perfect. This is really good, really smooth and over there as well we put some shims in and then there were some burrs here on the rail from the manufacturer. They also slipped and disturbed the function and then we did a light coat of grease on them that also helped a little bit and then we had a lot of patience but now it's it's good there's also the burrs here removed do you want to say anything yes you know what bothers me what that you can't reach this oh. that's really it if you enjoyed this video think about subscribing and if you're already subscribed, please don't unsubscribe. And we'll see you next, next Sunday. Sunday, maybe. Hopefully. We're Eventually. planning. Yeah. We'll think about it. It's always our goal, you know? <laughs> yeah, gotta have a goal. <laughs> you gotta have a goal. But sometimes, you know, stuff happens. <laughs> yeah. So, see thanks. you next Sunday.